guys this is Asif and in this YouTube video tutorial we are going to see how we can configure recovery manager in catalog mode and how we can use recovery manager to perform backups of the database in no catalog mode we are also going to see how we can create a user which will work as the user of the RMAN utility and then we will also see how we can create the catalog and in the end we are going to see how we can register any target database into the recovery catalog database so let's get started and see what we have got here i have got this database whose name is db so i'll just select name from v dollar database okay and then i have got this database whose name is dbkit select name from v dollar database as you can see this is dbkit this is db uh, this db database will work as the target database this database will act as the target database target database is the database whose backup is going to be performed and then we have got this database which is dbcat this database is going to work as the catalog database but before do, uh, before enabling this database to work as the catalog database and before registration of this database into dbcat database that is db catalog database we need to see how we can perform backups using our main in no catalog mode so let's get started i am going to start uh, going to open a third prompt set oracle sid r uh, now i'm going to use target database and I'm going to perform the backups of target database using Armand utility without catalog so the metadata information about the backups of target database will be stored inside the control file of the target database that means the backup information metadata about the backups not the actual backups but the information about those backups will be stored inside the control file of the target database so let's get started and see how we can do it our main target connect So now I am connected with database whose name is DB, which is uh, which is the target uh, for Armin utility, and I am going to see show all. This is default setting, and I'm say I'm going to say backup database. So you can see Armin utility is going to perform the backups of data files and the information about the backup files which will be generated backup pieces backup sets which will be generated is going to be held inside the control file of this database which is the target database and this is this uh, execution is being performed in no catalog mode because we have not specified here whether it should use the catalog mode or no catalog mode so by default it's no catalog mode until and unless you do not specify catalog keyword
uh, further uh, this uh, database has already been configured in archive log mode just i will just verify it this is the beta, uh, database archive log list so archiving is enabled here and this database is working in archive log mode so it is uh, important uh, and it is necessary that uh, you need to perform you need to configure uh, database target database into the archive log mode to perform online full incremental backups or uh, 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 cumulative backups so the backup is ongoing uh, it will take a few seconds i hope because this database is very small uh, i've created it uh, 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 this database is completely empty it hasn't got anything in it so it shouldn't take much time however just to verify what is the size of this database we can go to windows browser and see what is the size okay this is the database these are the data files whose size is uh, just 1.34 GB so it will be completed within a few minutes So, so now you can see that the backup has been performed successfully and it took us 2 minutes 36 seconds to perform the backups of data files and then it took only 1 second to perform the backup of other files that is flashback uh, recovery area files and uh, the control files etc. So the backup is completed the point here to be noted is that this backup was performed in no catalog.